Hello, everyone. It's me, Mrs. Gronert. And today we are going to learn how to play a new math game called Number Fact Families. You can find a link to this game in the video. Or if you're in Seesaw, you can click the link in the Seesaw activity. OK, let's go ahead and play. First, we're going to choose addition and subtraction, and then we'll choose up to 10. OK, so if you remember, a fact family contains two related addition sentences and two related subtraction sentences. Let's take a look at the numbers on the right of my screen. I have the numbers 1, 6, and 7. Do you know how we can make an addition sentence with those numbers? That's right. Yeah, we can say 1 plus 6 equals 7. And now I'm going to make the related addition equation. That is, you're right, 6 plus 1 equals 7. Now I need to make my two related subtraction equations. And if you remember, when we create subtraction equations, we have to start with the whole or the bigger number. That's the 7. So let's say 7 take away 1 equals 6 and 7 take away, that's right, you got it, 6 equals 1. Yes, let's check and see if we got all of those right. Oh, yes, we got all four. That is really cool. Okay, let's try one more together. If we look at the numbers on the right, we have the numbers one, four, and three. Do you know what the first addition equation we could write would be? Hey, awesome. Okay, let's do it. We could write one plus... 3 equals 4. Okay, what's the related addition equation? Yes, 4. No, that's not right. We don't start with the whole to make an addition equation. Let's fix that. Oh, much better. Let's try again. Oh, that's right. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Yes. Now we start with the whole, and the whole is four. So let's do that. Four take away one equals three, and four take away three, that's right, equals one. Okay, let's check those. We did it, we got all of them correct. Hey, thanks for practicing related addition and subtraction equations with me, and I hope to see you again very soon. <laughs>